Here and Tina finally have some number 9 movement, and no, it is not Dusan Vlahovic, the man everyone expects to be moving sooner rather than later. It is an addition to Fiorentina, and it is Christoph Piatek joining Fiorentina from Hertha Berlin in an amazing deal for the club. And it is being reported by all of the biggest journalists out there. Fabrizio Romano first broke from Damasio, and Transfer News Live has also reported it, the place to find your transfer news. And this is amazing addition for Fiorentina. They are my favorite club in Italy. Of course, I do support Manchester United. I am a Toronto FC supporter as a Canadian. But my club in Italy has always been Fiorentina. And this is such a fun and such a cool addition. Of course, being Polish for myself, this is an amazing movement for the Polish national team and for the Pole himself, Krzysztof Piatek. First, before I break down the transfer, I want to tell you guys the details in everything going into this. And Fabrizio Romano has tweeted this. Fiorentina sources clarify Christoph Piatek is not considered Dusan Vlahovic's replacement for this window. That's the key factor right there for this window. Of course, it could be for the next window, but we'll have to wait and see. Piatek will join the club on loan with a buy option from Hertha. Not a permanent move. The medical will be tomorrow. Vlahovic situation still quiet for January as of now. But like Fabrizio Romano goes to say here, guys, Piatek will join the club on loan with a buy option from Hertha. That is an amazing deal. Like he, It was first broke as a permanent transfer that he would be joining the club permanently. But it does look like this will be a loan move for the pole. And this is a brilliant transfer. I really do think so for Fiorentina. You're not bringing him in on a permanent. You're not taking the risk and bringing in Christoph Piatek on a permanent. I do think... It is going to be a good move no matter what for me for Fiorentina and as a Polish and Canadian supporter. As a Polish supporter, of course, this is a great move to get Piatek to a bigger club, to a better league, where he's going to get better uh, players playing around him. And for Fiorentina, you look at this transfer and you're bringing in Christoph Piatek, but I think it's brilliant to bring him on alone with a buy option because you have Dusan Vlahovic, who's probably not leaving till next summer, let's be real, guys. They're going to want to push as far as up to the table as they can, get enough money in for Dusan Vlahovic, and then completely revamp the squad and have an all-around talented squad, which they're currently doing and building very well. But if you bring in Piatek on loan, this gives him time to not play with the pressure of a price tag on his back. It gives him time to get a feel of the league, enjoy the league, learn how to adapt to the system, and really then see how good he does before you're committing to the player without throwing yourself into the ship and, in, and buying him straight away. Because if you go in and buy him, puts a lot more pressure on his back, and then he's going to be probably second fiddle, of course, to Zuzan Vlahovic till next summer, until Vlahovic has moved on. But now you're bringing him in on loan with a buy option where he can just play football the way he likes, where he can still be a backup. You're not paying him a lot of money. You can He gets the feel of the league. You can see how he's playing, adapting to the league. If he doesn't adapt, you don't have to buy him. More than likely, I do think Piatek's going to be a perfect fit for Fiorentina in their setup and for the league itself. So I do think if you give him that time as a loanee, instead of committing all that money, you can see how he adapts to the league, see where he plays with the system, and eventually sign him on a permanent once the big man himself, Dusan Vlahovic, leaves. But if you look at Fiorentina right now, everyone, they are doing some absolutely brilliant business. Bringing in Jonathan Akone, bringing in Nicolas Gonzalez, this team is looking fantastic in the forward lines. Of course, Jose Callejon is there. Uh, Kokorin, the uh, Russian striker as well. So if you look at... And of course, Dusan Vlahovic is there. But let's look at Dusan Vlahovic out of the picture. Let's say next summer he leaves. You still have... Your number one is going to be Piatek when he signs on a permanent. You're going to have Kokorin behind him. Right winger and Jonathan Ikone and Nicolas Gonzalez. That's going to be one of the best three forward lines out there in Serie A, in my opinion. You've got Fiorentina currently sitting in 7th. On 32 points, a win back of 5th place, Juventus. And they have an all-around good team. Pulgar, some great midfielders. And this team is just going to keep building. Of course, Odra Azola came in. Nastasic, some fantastic players back there. And you have Dragowski and Net, the Polish as well. So this is a great move, I do think, for the 26-year-old Piatek. Of course, everyone hyped him up after that massive season for Genoa. And then everyone says he went down so much and so heavily. But for me, he hasn't. Still had 9 goals in that first season with AC Milan and only 18 appearances, which was quality, I do think. Since then, it's been a little bit of a rough patch here and there. But playing for Hertha Berlin, I think going to Fiorentina where he has some players around him, more focal points, 
coming back to the Italian league. I think he is meant for the Serie A. I think he played well at Genoa. Having some creative players around him like Jonathan Akone, like Nicholas Gonzalez, some players that are able to take the pressure off him at times will give Christoph Piatek the starlight and will give him a chance to be himself, to score the goals, and to be the front man, the talisman that they need, the guy who can win the balls in the air, and the guy who can score the goals. This will be interesting to see what happens with Dusan Vlahovic. Of course, it could mean he could move in January, but like Richard Romano says, it does not mean that Dusan Vlahovic is moving this January. He could still move next summer. But guys, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you think Dusan Vlahovic is going to leave this winter or this summer? Or what do you guys think about the Kristoff Piatek transfer? Is it a good move for you guys? What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Make sure to drop a sub. Make sure to drop a like. It absolutely means the world to me. It really helps with the channel. I really enjoy all the positive feedback around the channel. It means the absolute world to me, guys. Please keep it up. We're going to try and push for 300 50 as quickly as possible and then keep margin from there let me know what you guys think down below and i'll see you guys for the next one peace